Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 science fiction thriller Simulant. The film is directed by April Mullen and it stars Robbie Amell, Jordana Brewster, Simi Liu and Sam Worthington. Now the film is set in the near future um, and it is a future where humans are kind of living alongside what are called simulants. Now these essentially are androids or robots. Um, many of them are kind of used for just for doing like household tasks sort of thing but there are some um, that are kind of becoming sentient and there's a huge debate in society about you know like um, android rights and all this kind of stuff um, and there is uh, like a police department almost that is tasked with tracking down and taking offline any simulants that are kind of becoming problematic and too rebellious at the same time, there is um, Jordana Brewster's character, Faye, who we learn through um, a car accident, loses her husband, played by Robbie Amell. However, he's brought back um, as a simulant. However, he's not aware that he's a simulant. And this isn't a spoiler, you see this in the trailer. Um, so she's got to kind of come to terms with the fact that, in actual fact, that's not a, hus a, a husband anymore. Uh, so she's kind of rejecting him. So he kind of is taken under the wing by a hacker who is very, very strong on these simulants' rights. And he wants to basically free them from their programming so that they don't essentially have to take orders anymore. And Sam Worthington's character is this police officer um, that is tasked with taking down uh, this hacker and these rebellious simulants. Right. That's kind of a long-winded way of explaining, I suppose, the fact that this film is a cross between Blade Runner, iRobot, and a popular game, Detroit Become Human. So, essentially, it's playing around with themes that have been um, played around with in science fiction films for many, many decades. Um, and so, it's not really touching on fresh subject matter here, this film. And that is essentially... The biggest problem I find with this film, it's not a bad film. There's decent production values going on here. You know, the effects are good. It's got a decent cast here of many recognisable names and faces. Uh, and the concept can certainly be um, interesting if done properly. It's just, I think this film kind of presents itself or makes out, even by looking at the poster, that this is kind of going to be like, almost like um, an action science fiction flick to a large degree and it is anything really but that is there's there's very little action to speak of here much of this film is more about morals really you know moral choices and things with the jordana brewster character the fact that she's brought her husband back as a simulant he's not aware he's a simulant then when he's made aware he's a simulant he's pretty much rejected by her so he's kind of left out on a limb um and you've got this, the Sam Worthington, you know, almost to be in the Harrison Ford character from Blade Runner, like tracking down rebellious simulants. And it, it all feels a bit unbalanced. It all feels a little bit jarring in a sense of it doesn't flow, really, this film. Um, and it, it, it's not exciting it, or particularly interesting to watch. It's a, it's a pretty dull watch, if I'm being honest. Um, and it plods along at a really fairly slow pace, which is okay if if the film that you're watching is kind of engaging you and interesting you. But unfortunately, this one doesn't really do it. Most of the characters here in this film are written pretty boring and they're pretty dull. Um, the Robbie Amell character 
Uh, the fact that he's this simulant who just discovers that he's a simulant, they could have done a lot more with that. And like I say, they, they explore that far better in Detroit Become Human, the game, if you've ever played that game. And far more in depth. It's much, much better how they do it on that. They don't explore it or do a good job, I don't think, in this film of, of, of you know, exploring this Robbie Mills simulant character. Jordana Brewster. Um, I know she's from like the Fast and the Furious films and I've seen her in a couple of other things but um, there's just no personality in her performance at all Um, I wouldn't say it's a bad performance but it's a really uninteresting performance and again I think they could have explored her character and what she was going through far far better Uh, the Simi Liu character who is essentially this hacker um, again nothing they, they don't really give us anything interesting about him until really late into the film and then all you can think of them when you're watching that it, but he's thinking well that that could have been really good they could have really really explored you know what was going on with him far better and the sam worthington character this blade runner-esque character um I, I don't understand how we kind of read that part and thought, yeah, that's that's a good part. I'm taking this. They don't do anything useful with him. Again, they give his character no personality. Um, you don't really learn an awful lot about how it is, you know, reason- but, or, or the department that he's working in, you know, and his reasonings behind doing what he's doing and the whole shebang. And, the, and they kind of play around with him kind of having this... Um, almost relationship developed between a simulant that never develops into anything. I don't mean like a sexual relationship or anything like that. It, it's more like a, it's a simulant that he tracks down and he's kind of interrogating that he kind of has this kind of understanding going with her and then that it just goes nowhere. So that the, the problem is with this film is the film just doesn't do anything interesting with these characters or this material. It's been explored far better in other films that you will have seen. Um, And it just doesn't deliver on any excitement, this film. Um, But at the same time, it wouldn't be fair to say that this film is a terrible film. Um, It's not. You know, as I've mentioned, you know, it's nicely polished. It's got a good production values behind it. You know, the effects are decent, what you get here. It doesn't feel like it's too far in the future that you can't relate to the film. Um, it just doesn't explore its subject matter in any way relevant or in any way um, shape or form in an interesting way at all. It just just doesn't do it, unfortunately. So I just see this film really as a missed opportunity. And I remember seeing the trailer for this, um, I don't know however long ago it was, and thinking this could be really good. I like a good sci-fi. I like a science fiction film that deals with subject matter like this because I'm a big fan of Blade Runner. I like iRobot and I definitely like Detroit Become Human. And there's others out there that we could you could mention in the comments that deal with this kind of subject matter. This is ultimately not comparable to any of those I've mentioned and it's definitely pretty forgettable. Um, so it's just straight down the middle for me in regards to a score. Um, I can't really give you any major negatives other than it's really dull and they don't flesh out the characters or make them interesting. Um, and I, obviously at the same time I can't give you any major positives either so make of that what you will. But if you're a big sci-fi fan and you like this kind of subject matter there may well certainly be something here for you to enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'll be back with more content on the channel very very soon.